Hello folks, I'm going to talk to you about my new uh, belt grinder I made. It's a 2 inch wide, 72 inch long. And if you've looked on YouTube, you've probably seen quite a few of them like it. I just borrowed some ideas from different people. Made a few improvements of my own. To I got the two horse motor off a Craftsman, Sears Craftsman air compressor. I've got it running off 110 and I'm running a four step pulleys. You see the pulleys there. Uh, actually it doesn't have enough power to run the top speed. This one here. But the other three work pretty good. That's my favorite. That one's very strong. This one's kind of weak, but uh, the only thing tensioning that drive belt is the motor itself. The weight of the motor comes out about right. That belt doesn't want to slip much, so that's not really an issue. Change speeds there are very easy. Now I'm running it onto a three-quarter inch jack shaft across a couple of uh, pillow block bearings to a four-inch drive pulley. I bought the drive. I bought all four of these aluminum pulleys off eBay. It's a four-inch. This is a three-inch. <clears throat> the two on the platen are two inch and uh, there's a tensioner. I, I went with the plunger type uh, tensioner. Some of them have the rocker arm type. That spring loaded got a spring down in it. Pivots here. Right here is the, uh, I don't know how well you can see it there, but the tracking adjustment. We'll zoom in on that and give you a better look. <clears throat> it's not tight as I like it to be, but it does stay put very well. I'm not worried about it moving. <clears throat> My framework, basic framework down here is a piece of uh, industrial shelving, thick enough you could weld it with a couple of angle irons, weld it off of it for motor mounts. I made the uh, platen, it's two piece. It does pivot out to 45 degrees. Take the belt off there and give you a look. <clears throat> the tool rest, homemade, slotted. That's 45 right there. The other way it doesn't quite go 45. You can take the plate off there. If you want to do slack grinding in the middle, you can do that. Fairly straightforward, nothing unusual. Tighten those up. Tool rest. I've got two positions I can put it up here of course you can check that with a speed square that stays put pretty good
uh, one innovation I went with that a lot of guys did not. These things make a mess, as you know, all over the floor there. They throw a lot of grinding, a lot of metal. <clears throat> so I put a funnel under it I had. It's easily removable. Got one bolt with a wing nut. It catches most of the sparks. They go down through a PVC pipe into a <clears throat> bucket of water. It probably gets 85% of them. And uh, that's a pretty good plus for not really costing anything. I also have a <clears throat> wheel attachment I made. Now this is not, this is a $15 lawnmower wheel. Not particularly round, but I have used it. I put it on here and it does function. Uh, if I find myself using it more often than a lot, I'll probably get a better one. I think Grizzly makes one for about 80 bucks. You got to put bearings in it, though. That one does have bearings, so it may not be that bad. Well, let's put a, put a belt on here. Get a little demo. All right, push that down. Slide this out and lock that. Does a pretty good job. And zoom in there and give you a little bit of a close up. Okay, we're going to fire it up and then we're going to do the tracking and grind a little piece of metal here. Tracking goes very well. Didn't get my tool rack tight enough. You can see most of the metal is going right down into the bucket. Doesn't bounce all over the place. That's on the second slowest speed, and I can bog it down, but I gotta work pretty hard to bog it down. The motor jump up. And it's almost bogging down the motor jump a little. I'm going to go to the next faster speed. That's the fastest one that this motor will really pull well. And I, I can bog it down up this one. That's flying along pretty good. I don't know how fast. That's an okay speed for polishing, but uh, if you bear down on it, it will bog down. But I'm pretty happy with it. I, uh, I've only had it done a few days, but I, I made this knife with it. You see, <clears throat> piece of stainless scrap I had. I did heat treat it. Uh, myself probably not very well it's got a white oak handle solid brass rivets and the handle holding it on not a bad looking knife I'll be making a lot more of them that's only a little over a sixteenth thick three thirty seconds I think I think a thicker metal lets it let you make a little more attractive knife. But appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.